Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Sunday, Sunday, July the 28th, 2024. Hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I am. I just finished having me some breakfast, having my cup of coffee, you know, enjoying um, this moment until I need to go out later. So I wanted to come on through and talk about some things uh, that have that have um, that have come up, I guess, or things that are happening, because there's always something happening, <laughs> and um, sometimes you just never know what you're going to get yourself into <laughs> until you get yourself into it. And that brings me to um, why it's so important to expand your horizons you know a lot of people say all these kind of oh god they say all these kind of things and they rarely do what they say that they're doing or what they're telling all of us they're doing yeah just trying to get an angle here so anyway uh today is sunday uh the following week you know because i think sunday starts the week for a lot of people whatever I had some I had some surprising results of things happening to me. And that's what I that's what I like because I'm going to be real honest with you. I stretch myself out in in places I would not have uh say 5 years ago, 10 years ago because I told you how the ego is. The ego my ego likes to protect me, right? Our egos are there to protect us, kind of present us to the world. You know, they're kind of like a shield or, or uh, a guard against, you know, our beingness. But I told you, your ego does not run the show, however. Okay? You cannot allow your ego to always make decisions for you. You, individually, have to make decisions and sometimes those decisions can be fearful for a lot of people because it's taking you out of your comfort zone when you suspend your ego you are out you know you are in parts unknown sometimes and you are kind of stretching yourself in places you will not ever go I remember I did a video oof, maybe two years ago where I kept having this dream over and over and over again, where I kept, every time I would be heading into a direction or taking a path somewhere or taking a journey somewhere, I always came to the end of the road, so to speak, in the dream. And I never could understand what that meant. I always thought it meant I was dying or something. You know what I mean? I thought, okay, is this the end? But then what I realized was I had to take another path. Sometimes you have these ideas about where you are supposed to be heading and then you get a detour and you need to go this way you need to go that way so there were there were a lot of things that I would not you know venture into because you know it, it took because I you know like I said my ego was quote unquote protecting me from things but I also told you that you have to if you choose to stretch yourself out and get a little bit uncomfortable you know get comfortable with being uncomfortable uncomfortable because otherwise you're gonna miss opportunities okay so a couple of things happened this week which were unexpected and um, you know I came across strangers okay I came across strangers and um, Sometimes that happens. People show up in your life and, they, and, they, and a lot of people a lot of people say, you know, I can help you. I can help you. And again, sometimes when you've been burned, you know, over the course of time, you may be a little jaded and you don't want to you don't want to trust people. But I realize that I have to trust myself. Okay? I trust myself to be allowed to be uncomfortable because because guess what? If there's an issue, I'm going to know about it. And, it. and it does work. I'm telling you. 
I told you we had a breach earlier this year and this breach was with people I thought I knew. I thought I knew them. And it turns out I did not. And that, that happens a lot too. And I had been having a relationship, you know, like a, almost a, a business relationship with them since like, I think like 2000, 2016, 2017. Okay, it's now 2024. And there was a breach in that trust. Now, the only thing that I, I'm so grateful for and, and the reason why I'm good is my instincts warned me about it. Well, during the course of time, you know, after meeting, you know, certain people, I start my instincts, intuition, whatever it is. And I'm going to, there is a difference between instinct and is, intuition. And I'll discuss that later, but I don't want you to get too caught up in that. That's where people are getting so confused. And then you get people that claim to think they know everything about everything, come in and make it more cloudy or, and confusing. What we have is massive, massive, massive confusion, especially with words and definitions of these words that we're using. And I told you to challenge all of it. Challenge all of it and ask yourself, what do these words that I continually use mean to me? Okay, I, fo I want you to focus more so on the results, okay, or the actions and behaviors that lead to a result. Because it starts in the thoughts, it cultivates itself into action and behaviors, and then the results. Not the other way around, okay, but I put out plenty of videos on that. But so, so I'm confident because I had the experience to know that if something is not right in your life, you will get the signs. And that's all, and that's, you can, that's easier to focus on. You get the signs, you get the warnings, and it's internal. Okay, I started getting internal vibes about one person in particular. And I, and I and I was and I'm like, well, why am I getting these vibes? Well, okay, that's that's a sign of something within you warning you, and that you need to pay attention. And I did, and I, I attempted to warn others, and blah 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 blah. So here we are. So I did, and then so my point is later. So earlier this week, I, I came across a stranger as well, who said that they wanted to help me. They wanted to do this and that and the other, and. I went for it. I said, okay. Because I know that we all will be taken advantage of in some way. We will always, all of us are always vulnerable to fraud, uh, charlatanness, deception, manipulation. We're all vulnerable to that no matter how spiritual we say we are or how evolved we say we are i mean come on we're dealing with sophisticated liars we're dealing with sophisticated uh manipulative sociopaths psychopaths clerics you know that narcissistic type of personalities all of us will encounter that in, sometime in our lives cannot avoid it you know, it's saturated all over this planet. So I took a chance with this stranger. And this stranger actually helped me out. And I'm so thankful. And while I was dealing with this person, I didn't feel any kind of impulse of, of, of danger, danger, danger. You know, that, that kind of impulse you get. Like I said, it could be an instinct, an intuition, whatever. Let's not focus on that. It's a sensation within me. It's like a warning. Okay. I didn't get that. And I'm thinking about the, the, the individual I met 2016 to 2017. Um, there was a lot of negativity gear uh, thrown at this particular person. Okay. I didn't know this person. So I wasn't going to just take somebody's word that I need to uh, have a reason to uh, not engage with this person not have a conversation with them, not have an association with them. Because you you really have to do your own discernment. You 
really have to do your own discernment, no matter what anyone says to you, unless it's clearly evident, you know, but this person, it wasn't clearly evident that he was anything that anybody else was saying about him because the people that were throwing, you know, throwing stones and bricks at this person. Okay. They were just as shady and they got exposed as well. So my point is at some point, all of this is going to get exposed. These sophisticated liars, these deception, these um, deceptive, manipulative individuals, personalities, you know, these sophisticated oratory types, you know, they speak very well and eloquent. And, you know, they have this poise about them and, and they're just as poison as a snake. Okay. And, and that's being, and I'm being disrespectful actually to the snake. Okay. So my point is trust yourself. I trust myself and I trust the science that I receive because I will tell you uh, 80 to 90% of the time, you know, my, my internal innermost being works in my favor, okay, to protect me. But am I going to get manipulated and burned and get ripped off and lose money and lose time and lose effort? Yes, I will. But each time I go through those experiences, I become more fortified and more uh, trusting of myself. You have to, if you choose to, take yourself there. If you call yourself an introvert, consider putting on the hat of an extrovert. extrovert. If you're an extrovert, continue, uh, consider putting on the hat of an introvert. Get in there and figure out what is going on before you dismiss things. So I felt good about this person. They said it was going to help and they did. Okay, they delivered. So what can I what 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 is wrong with that? Not a goddamn thing. Okay, but 5 10 years ago, oh no. I would have done. And it was so funny because the person I was talking to, they said the same thing. They said, "Man, if I wasn't connecting with you, which I am, and, and felt a good vibe about you, which I am, I would not have blah, 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 blah. So my point is you have to consider making mistakes, you know, going through the trials, going through the, the errors, the mistakes, the failures, and you will get breakthroughs. Everything is about the sounds and tones that are emanating from you. We have sounds and tones that emanate from us. You can call it energy if you like. And, and all of our energy is sort, I mean, it is, is out of whack, <laughs> short circuit. All of our energy is short circuit because of the massiveness of people on this planet, equipment, toys. So, Get to a point to where you know that your innermost being is going to protect you one way or another and warn you about people, warn you about situations. And a lot of people are going to say, oh my gosh, it's magic. And a lot of people misuse that energy because they have one, uh, because everybody is going around, and I know a lot of people are paying attention to it, uh, acting as though they are fortune tellers. You know, you get the media, some of these radio personalities, especially some of these uh, political personalities. You know, everybody is uh, claimed they're gifted with something. You're a human being. Those are your birthrights. You just have to activate it properly. And if you in, if you uh, do not activate these certain power, these certain powers, skills, and abilities. It is going to turn on you, okay, and throw you into the experiences that you may not survive. Okay, so many people are not going to survive their own uh, self-created uh, destruction because they thought they were so special, you know, and they thought they were so much, they thought they were so much so special over everybody else. You know, they are highly favored, you know, 
And I told you I do not like the word chosen. Okay, because that word has a lot of religious connotations to it. And if you want to keep it, keep it as such, you can you are allowed to do so. But that word has a lot of uh negative energy uh, uh affixed to it. And as a matter of fact, this this word is like I said, this word has been commercialized. So it doesn't have the same meaning anymore. So I would suggest to people that mean well, and I listen, I, I read a lot of polls, I, I do a lot of reading, I do a lot of researching, and I think I know there are certain people out there that mean well. But you need to, you need to pay attention to the words you're using and realize some of these words have uh, decades, maybe millennia amount of energy affixed to them. So as soon as you say that word, it starts to activate stuff into you that you may not be aware of. You're unconscious of it. And you don't know the consequences of using certain words. Chosen is not a word I would use, but that's your choice. There is free will. Um, because it's all, you know, words have energy and they can activate certain certain unconscious events in your life that you had no idea is going on within you and then you know within your thoughts and then it starts starts certain behaviors and actions coming in you know you start certain behaviors and actions and most importantly you get yourself in certain experiences that you cannot get yourself out of i hear i know so many people are going to collapse i know it literally figuratively and metaphorically they're going to collapse and they're not going to be able to lift themselves back up again because the because the burdens are going to be too much to bear. When we had that breach earlier with this one particular person and he started, you know, when you have a breach, it, it affects people around them. If you're interacting with someone that's, that's, that's fraudulent, dangerously dealing with evil, and you know, dealing in criminal, evil actions and behaviors is going to affect people around them, no matter whether you are aware of it or not. That's why a lot of people keep saying, man, that energy, you know, talk about people's energy. Oh, my God, their energy, their energy. Yeah, I mean, that that's a literally, you know, true statement. You are affected by the people around you. And because we're so massively overpopulated, we're in each other's face. We don't have proper space to, to, to grow sometimes. So that's why you have to be creative. I told you, imagine yourself in the middle of a million people, maybe a billion, and you want to get to, you want to get across the way. You're going to need help with that. I can get through there, but it may be a little bit, I, I may, I may be applying unnecessary force. You don't need to do that. There are other people that are resonating with you with their sounds and tones that will help you through okay and that's what we need people like that they don't have a hidden agenda yes everyone wants to be rich everybody wants to be able to provide for themselves and their families that is logical to me okay and if, if someone's dealing in fraudulent activity and behavior, they will be exposed. Okay? A lot of things are happening now. And this is because of the, the, the signs of the time. And it's because of the cosmic events that are going on in our, in our universe. I told you the dawning of the age of Aquarius. You know, it can be eventful and uneventful for a lot of people. They may not recognize what's happening when that time comes. But things happen unconsciously out of your awareness. And you may not know it's happening. Again, some people can be standing in, in, a, in a certain standing somewhere. And because they're not concentrating and focused, they don't realize they're sinking into quicksand. That's a, that's a metaphor, and it could be literal for certain regions of the country as well. You know, because of their infrastructure, because of the climate destruction. You don't know that something is seek, sinking below your feet. 
because a lot of people are not paying attention. It's self, self-absorbed and self-centered. So my point is this. Take, a, take an opportunity. Don't take a chance, but there's no such thing as chance. Take an opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone, suspend your ego, suspend the labeling that you've given yourself, and, and see how you can connect with other human beings. That's where you need to connect anyway. Yeah, it's best to have nature assist you with that. Okay, like I said, I, we are a tree of life in human form. You know? But if you pay attention to the tree, a tree, for example, it has those roots. You know? And those roots are attempting to connect. And that's what, and so that's why I say we have to reconnect to our our infrastructure. We need to reconnect to our nature before it all disappears. And I told you, there's a reason why uh, the animals or the mammals or whatever in the in the ocean are behaving as such. The animals, the mammals, the creatures, whatever you want to call them, are going to turn on all of us if we don't wake up. And understand what we're doing to this planet. This planet just does not belong to just us. And the, 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 and what bothers me too is there are certain people that believe that. They believe this planet belongs to them. You know, it doesn't belong to you. You have no rights. You know, you you, you don't have no rights to be here. You know, a lot of people are talking like that too. We have one planet, and this planet belongs to all of us, and that includes the animals the fauna and the flora. We are causing a lot of that to be, to become extinct because of our behaviors and actions and our unconscious thinking mode. We're not present in when we're thinking. We're not con- uh, focused and concentrating. Okay? So, again, I trust myself. And if, I, if, if there's a breach then that's on me. But like I said, I feel fantastic about that because I knew there was a breach because I was getting the warnings about it. But I waited. I waited because sometimes you do have to allow people to fall on their own face, you know, expose their own selves, you know, wallow in their own shit. In other words, I not interfere in their demise okay yes you can make people aware of it but in most cases most people are not paying attention you know because they're so busy defending their ego they're so so busy you know projecting themselves as something that they're not you know all of that's going to be exposed so stay righteous that's my point stay righteous and trust yourself you do get the answers and like, and from as far as I'm concerned, again, I'm so happy about the about the results in my life. Even though I'm not where I want to be, I'm not even I'm not so much concerned about that because I already I already visualized this visualized this a few years ago where I would be and what I would have. So sometimes the details of it that's the part that bothers me, you know, because you still got to be in the details of it all. You still have to build the foundation. Even though you can see a house, you still have to build the house, right? And that's literal, figuratively and metaphorically, you know. So stay righteous, keep building, trust yourself. And you can say to somebody, I trust you. But when I say that, I, I'm actually saying I trust me. And if that person breaches my trust, it's not on them, it's on me. And I'm all right. I'm okay with that. I love myself enough to be okay with that. That is what self-love is anyway. To allow yourself to fall sometimes, to make mistakes, you know, to to be made a fool of, have people laughing at you, have people making fun of you. You know, that happened a couple of years ago, um, you know, when I was interacting with certain people. And, you know, hey, where are they now? That's That's the question, you know. So, I feel good this morning, and I want to come out and share my experiences 
and please for your growth and your evolution of your consciousness involve yourself in life experiences no one has to know what you're doing just do it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains at the end of the day it is about universal love it's about universal love okay take care of yourself and trust me I'll be back